and welcome to lesson number two, or technically lesson one, of the Clean Blueprints course. Okay, so we're looking at BP Demo Display's construction script right now, which as you can tell, it's not the messiest, it's not the cleanest, but there are parts that can be optimized to make it look very nice, very representable. So in this lesson, we're going to be figuring out reroute nodes. Reroute nodes are great because they can, instead of having this spaghetti, especially as you can see around this area, uh, especially here as well, instead of having these wires going everywhere, each and everywhere, you get a nice flow from A to B, which can easily be followed by your eyes instead of having to, you know, hire a private detective to follow the spaghetti. Uh, so yeah, reroute nodes. Let's uh, dive right in. How do we make them? How how can we clean this up? What we'll be doing is we'll be cleaning this up so the general flow of things is nice and smooth throughout. So, as you can see, we've got this is the first problem. Switch on BP Demo Display Enarm and then you, they're going to different areas throughout. So we're going to fix this. First things first, we're going to align them in the correct order. So the first one's on the top, second one, etc, etc. So literally just select everything here. Because if we follow this, this wire along, that's the first one. So we're going to grab that, move that up to the top, like so. Magical. Uh, the second one we're going to do as well. But as you can see here, it's got a sequence. So that's something we'll be sorting out in a second. But for now, we'll try and get it as clean as possible. So we'll move that, everything here, to the second place. So that means we have to move the first one just higher up, like so. So let's move that really high. So let's move this second one to here, like so. It might look messy, and you'll find that a lot in cleaning up blueprints. It will feel messy as you're going along, but the payoff is worth it. So... <laughs> The third one is already in the correct place. Excellent. The fourth one is not, and the fifth one needs to be lower down. So let's go ahead and do that like so. So it, it looks messier than it did before, and that's because there's a lot of cross-referencing in the code to other pieces of code like this right here. So... Once everything's in its correct place, we're just going to do the bare essentials of, you know, adding reroute nodes. And to do so, we just go anywhere in the execution line we want to add the reroute node and simply double click the line. There you go. Magic. That right there, that beautiful thing is a reroute node and will probably be the strongest tool in cleaning up your blueprints. So we're going to go ahead and drag that into position. We're going to make this part as straight as possible and then hopefully this part. So what I'm going to do, which is a personal potatoes tip right here, is click each of these nodes, each of these uh, execution lines, sorry, to create five identical reroute nodes, like so. So you're probably thinking, that looks pretty weird. And it does look pretty weird. So what we're going to do is something we'll be covering more in depth later on, but we'll just do it quickly here, is we're going to select this whole line, because this can be flattened to a straight line. And it's just going to go right click, alignment, and straighten connections. Again, we're going to sort that, we're going to talk about that more in depth later on in this course. But for now, I just wanted to make sure we've got the right idea moving forward. So, as you can see, that looks clean to me. That looks very clean. These will be eventually dragged out a bit to give the others a more room. But that's not for right this minute. What we're just going to do now is move these more into the correct places. So this can go a bit here. This can be moved further down a little bit, like so. Let's move it down a bit more like, like that. And then this can be moved up. We're basically just aligning everything. And as I said, it's okay that it looks a bit messy at the moment because we will get to cleaning in just a moment. There we go. And there we go. So everything's in its correct place now. So all we have to do is let's, for example, click this line, like so. Very nice. And click this line. Make it as flat as possible, like so. That one could actually be straightened out. Let's see if we can. Sometimes you'll have to use the uh, actual alignment tools, which, again, we'll cover more in depth later in the uh, course. But some of them could just be nudged like that. 
Nice, happy little blueprint starting to get cleaner already. Brilliant, so this can be moved down. That needs to be realigned with that, like so. So we are making nice progress. You'll notice by straightening these out that sometimes you'll get wires that come awfully close to each other, like this, which, you know, obviously is not ideal. But thanks to the wonders of uh, blueprints, all we have to do is remember these that we made. Let's grab the middle three, right, so, and just drag them out a little bit. As you can see, when you zoom out, it looks a bit weird. But once you zoom in, you can start to see the nice flow. This one could be dragged out a little more as well. And this one could be dragged out a little more. Right, so, so we're getting a nice organic flow to our cleanup of the graph. So there's another way to create reroute nodes. And that this is for more when you don't have the setup already created. You don't have the execution lines already there. You want to kind of preempt it. So what you can do is right click and just type reroute node. And then what you do is every once you connect something into it, you know, there you go, it's a reroute node. I personally prefer the double click method, but you know, everyone has their own opinion and that's fine by me. Okay, so that was just a very quick video into how to use reroute nodes. In the next video, we'll be aligning everything together. So hopefully stay tuned for that. Afterwards, we'll be covering more about creating functions and macros to clean up our blueprints, and then we should be in a very nice place. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.